Are you ready to align, connect, and prosper for a magnificent 2025? Let's jump into that today on the Wandering But Not Lost podcast. And now your host, Jen O'Brien and Matt Emerson. Welcome everyone to the WBNL Wandering But Not Lost podcast, where we are today going to align, connect, and prosper. This is episode 313. You can find all those show notes over at WBNLpodcast.com. Jenna Bryan, ACP, baby. Yeah, I got some inspiration going with the integration of what it really means for alignment, which we really are going to equate to mindset today and right. setting some things up so that you can connect all of that okay. to create your business plan and your intentions for the new year. And then when you do that, prosperity comes in all areas of your life. So that's the theme today. We're going to cover it. It's the basis of what we're doing to upgrade our course that we're going to have called Align Connect Prosper. And I'm excited about that. So we've written a ton of stuff over the years and just as we've gone through and, you know, gained more life experience, yeah. it's all Let's starting go. to come through. And we're, we're going to write this in such a way that obviously it'll be for real estate agents since that's where most of our experience is but we're really going to talk today and in, in the future as we've been doing in the, in this course particularly it's really going to be for any entrepreneur because remember real estate agents team leaders small brokers we are entrepreneurs we're small business owners but there's so many opportunities to be a small business owner in this current reality and economy so many people working for themselves we want to yeah. We want to touch all those folks out there too. And I so think what's really important, especially with the connection part, the um, you know the, the the planning, the goal setting, all of that part of the process, which people have been doing business planning forever. And well, excuse me, people uh, should have been doing business planning forever, but no, people don't usually do it because it's not fun. It's you know, there's a lot of there's a lot to it when you're doing it right. There's just mm -hmm. it, it's just. There's just a lot of stuff about the business plan that is the reason why people do not business plan. And I think exactly. by surrounding it and enveloping it in the whole concept of, you know, your mindset and just mm -hmm. and the greater you, right? Not just what you're doing in your business, but what you're doing in your life. The whole this is a life journey, right? It's not just about one thing. So I and, think and honestly, maybe, Matt, where where we have evolved to is because of how me getting really back in for the last two plus years yep, into right full-time doing real estate with the team is my experience of how much mindset and where, what you're thinking and what you're attracting because the energy you put out is what you, you know, what you focus on, you, you attract is powerful. And I have, so, I've experienced so many examples of, you know, when things are down or deals are falling apart or, you know, there's a massive NAR settlement that changes the landscape of our business. You still can, you know, it doesn't have to be the end of everything. It, it can be, and it is for a lot of people who are going down the path of this is bad, this is negative. There's always opportunity in any market, in any situation. And that's why it's so important to talk about this alignment. So what we're going to do today is outline. We're not going to dig into the details of how you do this, because today I want to break down the big key principles and talk about it a little bit in each of those areas. And just know we're going to have more content coming out on this and we will talk about our real estate business plan. But I have also come to the conclusion that I love our real estate business plan. I use uh, a lot of parts of that real estate business plan, especially the goal writing part. However, I've really simplified it and we're, go we're going to be introducing, you know, a manifestation map that, that I used last year that I kept in front of me that I really believed helped me always be focusing on the goals. And I'm going to start getting rid of that word goals because I've come to the conclusion for myself, you know, you got to use whatever wor word works for you. But I right. feel like goals allows us to, to, it's kind of like a resolution. I almost feel like resolutions and goals now are a similar word, meaning, you know, it's just a nice idea. You know, it's a, it's a thought that I have and it, you know, it'd be nice if I could accomplish this goal. That's how I feel about it. So I'm going to start using the word intention because it's all about your intention and your focus, which is your action. So your mindset has to be in a space. Then you have to take action. And that's all about our do the daily. So we're going to cover all those things today. Let's jump into what I'm, what we mean at WBNL coaching by align or alignment. And alignment is about tapping into your authentic self. 
and connecting to your deeper purpose. Because when you come from that place and you're passionate about what you're doing, it's much easier to go with the flow and let everything come into alignment so you can accomplish what you intend. Okay. So we've got like six areas that we're going to be expanding on in our future course. And let's just walk through the mat. So the very first one is define your life purpose or mission. There are tons of resources out there, lots of books about how do I figure out what is my big why? Okay. And the first one that I'm going to recommend is the Simon Sinek book. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Uh, and it's, what's it, what's it called? Um, discover your why, or I can't remember what it's called right now. It's, I lost it for a second. Maybe you can Google that while I'm talking. Yeah, we'll do that. It's the first book on why. That's a really good one. And there's really an awesome couple TED Talks that you could go look at. But yeah. you got to just go find the way that is going to help you. You have to do a little inner work on that to figure out what is it that you're here to do? You know, what is it that really gets you inspired and motivated? We've written articles, we have some blog posts, we have all kinds of things on this. And so it's just basically asking the question, what really fires you up? And if it's, is it, you know, it's not just selling houses, okay? If you're a real estate agent, it's the why of you, you doing that. Like, why it's, are you doing this? The book is start with why. Start with why. Okay. Yeah. Begin with why. I think I said begin. All right. We're all mm -hmm. good. So that's it. And when you have that, you're going to have clarity. That's what's so important. Now, here's the next step. You have to do the inner work. Now, we could spend a whole podcast on this part. I'm More in the middle of, of revisiting all of this right now. And, and, and when you really do the inner work, what it allows you to do is stop all the craziness that's in your head all day. Because honestly, we are in our mind all day long with thoughts, 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 thoughts. You never stop and pause and breathe. And we're never really in the present moment. And part of that is our ego self is always here to protect us, right? The ego, don't, don't think of the ego as in that person's egotistical. I mean, the ego is this conscious representation of who we are. And then we have a subconscious self or a higher self. And that's the, that is the self that has got more connection and more, you know, is there to sort of help guide us, right? But we kind of edge it out all the time, right? Because like, oh, I got to go do this. And then I'm reacting to this. And oh my God, that guy cut me off in traffic. And it's a survival thing. We've got to protect you. That's what the ego's job is. So doing the inner work means allowing yourself to discover and finally release what are your limiting beliefs? What are the patterns and the thought patterns and the maybe old outdated beliefs that you have been holding on to due to growing up, interaction with peers, yeah. you know, just everything, your entire life's experience is what you, what you have. And a lot of times we all, I think not a lot of times, I think we all have repressed situations or trauma or emotions that we just don't want to deal with. So doing the inner work is what's going to free you so that you do not have any more roadblocks. So it's one thing to sit down and go, I'm going to close 35 transactions next year. And let me go about my work and I'm going to follow the little game plan WBNL coaching is is helping and, and talking about the things I need to go do. But what if if your self-doubt and your your limiting beliefs start creeping in, that's the self-sabotage that happens. The only way you're going to get past that is to figure out how to do the inner work, which can be called shadow work. You might hear, you might hear it called the inner child. It's kind of like the the embracing the the shadow side of yourself. There's so much content out there and courses and ways to do this. It's powerful stuff. Okay. But yep. listen, it's not easy because it means taking the time, whether it's through therapy or coaching, it's taking the time to feel it and allow it to come up and, and, and embrace it for what it did for you, however you want to look at it. And then finally releasing it and letting it go. That, mm -hmm. That's the option. That's the freedom that comes when you do this inner work. Okay, so that's number two. Number three is now you can set clear intentions. Now we can set clear intentions that for you, for business and your personal life, and they're not just goals, you know, they're outcomes that are aligned with your values, with your why, with your purpose. Then the next piece on the business side is it's so important to discover your niche. We talk about this all the time, right? What does our friend Rich say? The riches in the, the riches are in the niches. Rich Brocken, right? He's niches always, for riches. The 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 niche find a niche, and I so agree with it. We've been talking about it forever. Don't try to be all things to all people. No matter what your business is, get you know get local, get hyper local. Become the person that's best at whatever it is that you're wanting to do. Not try to be all things to all people, and that is tied to discovering the next one, which is identify your perfect client. So. 
your why is who you are. And then, of course, you want to work with people that are in alignment with your values and your core beliefs, right? So identifying your perfect client really means that you sit down and do the work about visualizing and creating a lot of places will say your avatar. Who's your perfect client avatar? Where you literally plan it all out. We have some of this in our training program where you literally create what what's this person's motivation? Where What do they even you know, their physical characteristics can come down to that. What is it that they're in real estate? What are they looking to buy? Where are they going? You know, I mean, not to say that you're not going to work with anybody that comes into your sphere of influence, but you're going to work on setting intentions and attracting the client who, for example, for me is ready, willing, and able to, to buy or sell. They have to be properly motivated. They've got to connect with us. They've got to understand our value. I don't want to work with people who don't see our value. Those are the key things and then you can get into specifics. They they want to they want to buy waterfront property because that's what I specialize in. You know those kind of things. I wish it was waterfront property, but I live in the desert, so you get the point. And then the last part of alignment here. So we're we're going through your life purpose, doing the work to release the limiting beliefs, so you can set clear intentions. Now you're going to focus on your niche and your perfect client, and then you're going to finish up this part with embracing what we call the be do have alignment. And what this means is. You have to embody and become the person that you're visualizing. You have to become that. You have to believe that. You have to use affirmations and visualizations, and there's lots of techniques to believe every day that you are that person that you have created. Even though you're in your mind, your your mental brain is going to say, you're not there yet. You're going to go, I am that, because that's the power of the subconscious mind. When you feed it that self-talk, that information every day, I am a successful real estate agent that you know closes 30 transactions a year. Whatever your affirmation is, or I make five connections every day, I have great interactions with people every day that are... I attract people. That's another one I use, right? I attract a, I attract a person today who wants to work with me, who's ready, willing, and able to work with me. When you say that over and over again, and there's a lot of other techniques, your subconscious starts to go, oh, this is what this person is wanting. This is what Jan is wanting. Not, I'm not good enough. Nothing ever works out for me. Oh, Jan wants that. I mean, it really boils down to, if we just want to be simplistic about it, it really is about your thoughts create your reality but your actions also create your reality. So you have thoughts and you go take action, you make decisions about that, then it creates your reality. So there you go. So most people live in have, do, be. Right. When I have more money, then I can do the things that I want to go do, like travel, then I'll be happy. Okay, so we have to go the other way around. I am happy. I am happy. We talked about it that episode where I'm like, I'm happy and grateful for the car that I have because mm -hmm. it gets me and goes, it's that mentality. I'm appreciative of what I have right now and I am this person, then I'm going to go do the things and then I have all the things that just comes and it all falls in alignment. It so just that's goes alignment. to show you, it goes to show you how important that number, the second step, that inner shadow work is that that is so important because you, if you can get in there and really analyze and do that work, it's, it's going to make your, your be do have much easier on the other end, right? Because you're going to be able to, um, you're going to be able to see it. You're going to be able no, to see and just, it and just about 10, 12 minutes, whatever that was, we just kind of talked about a lot of stuff around alignment. And there's a lot of work to that. And that's what we're going to be developing and talking that about here work. on the podcast as we move forward into the new year and as we develop this course for you. So now when you have that done, now you can really do the connection part. So we can take all that inner work and all that clarity and the be, do, have, and you know what your mission is. And now you can, to, to really prosper, you have to bridge that internal work with external actions that connect you to uh, others that, that are in alignment with you so that you can amplify your business, right? So let's talk through these steps in our connection piece, which is number one, create a business plan. There it is. You got to have a business plan that really outlines all the key things like who, who are your, what are your pillars? There's so much things there, right? But we'll just say you have to create a business plan. We're not going to get into that because I've got a lot to talk about today, but we are going to tell you if you don't know where to start, Matt, what do we have for the folks listening today? Well, we have an agent fundamentals course, which includes a whole section on business planning, uh, walks you through the entire process. 
uh, Matt, there's a million forms. <laughs> there's a there's a lot of worksheets that you can do to really tabulate where you are in your business, whether you're in real estate or like Jan said, outside of that, right? Because there's a lot more than business planning than just setting goals. That's setting goals, <laughs> which is a part of business planning, but it is not the whole process. So go over to our website, wbnlcoaching.com, go to our freebies page and our course called Agent Fundamentals and Business Planning, absolutely free. I don't even know why we did that because it's worth a lot more than free, but it will certainly get you started on the process and um, give you all the tools you need to start creating that. Below. There you go. Mm -hmm. And then you can use what you want from it. You'll get a lot if you've never done a business plan. And then I've just simplified the process and we'll be sharing you know more about that as we move along. All right. So you've created your business plan. Now you have to commit to the lead generation, which really means identify that the sources. Now I always say you all have, we all have our sphere of influence, ultimately past clients. So obviously we have that. Every business has repeat and referral clients. Now, what are the two? That's what I recommend. Two additional targets for lead generation. And the key is you've got to do it consistently. Then you've got to, number three, choose your platform. And by this, I mean, choose your system, your client relationship management system, your, if you're a content creator like we are, what's the platform that you're using to do that content creation and connect with people any other tool or system that you need to run your business, choose it and commit to it and work with it. Number four, you got to develop effective systems. It's all about systems and for real estate and for everybody, really your sphere. It's what you do with your sphere of influence and past clients to develop repeat and referral business. How do you stay in touch with them for real estate buyer and seller systems? If you're not a real estate agent, you know, it is just your client. How do you, how do you stay in touch with clients? How do you, get more customers. Okay. Then a marketing plan. What is your social traditional marketing? What are you doing to continue to brand yourself and get the messaging out there? Right. And then your lead generation and follow-up systems, you know, so you can generate leads, but if you're not, if you don't have a system to follow up with them effectively, then what's the point? Right. And there's a lot that's in there. There's the checklists that go with once you have clients that's part of your systems too what do you do before during and after for all of your buyer and seller systems there's a lot to systems and you know that's a, number five create your um before during and after checklist which is critically important to then get to number six which is develop an operations manual and an operations manual is key for any small business mm -hmm. it really outlines your procedures for doing tasks that take multiple steps uh, operations manual can allow you to expand, hire people to join your team, hiring an assistant. It acts as a training manual. We we're going to be interviewing a guy I've known a long time, Brad Gustafson, who's got an amazing transaction system called TransTrack, which I really am uh, fully endorsing if you don't have a system that we're probably going to be partnering with him and he'll be coming up on a future interview. So if you don't have a checklist system, we have a really basic checklist system. He's got a really good basis of an operations manual. Uh, all right. So that's that. And then number seven is leverage help. And I just mentioned it briefly, but at some point when you become really good at what you're doing, you can't do it alone. You, we have a virtual assistant, hire an assistant. It could be a virtual assistant. Our right. virtual assistant hands, handles a lot of um, social media tasks for us. You could hire a real transaction coordinator or an administrative assistant. Uh, you could use a trend, you know, a company TC. That is smart use of your time because you're probably spending too much time if you're if you're closing more than a couple deals a month, doing things that you could outsource to someone else so that you have more freedom to either take more time off for yourself or to generate more business. All right. Mm -hmm. And then our favorite. Our favorite. Do the daily. Okay? Do the daily. Do the daily is the action steps for success. So I, I, I don't know why I didn't come up with this sooner, but this is basically what I live by on a daily basis. And if you don't know what do the daily is, well, you can order those and put them up. <laughs> we have a couple stickers. Matt's showing the stickers of the one, two, three, four, five. All right. And it's just real simply here, real quick. Here's the do the daily morning routine. I do this every morning. I at least do one part of it. It's I, I'm not always doing the walk and the exercise or yoga. I have, it's, it's calmed down here now. And so I started doing walking again, but I always do my morning meditation. Did it this morning before we started the podcast. It was awesome. Really helped me get in the right mindset. Morning routine, 
set a positive tone for the day. Lead generation, you have to dedicate one to two hours a day for your lead gen. You just do. If you don't, you're not going to have any business. And then number three, you got to follow up with the leads that you already have. Okay, so you get up every day, you take care of yourself, and then you focus first on lead gen and lead follow up. Very important. Number four we have is active clients. Now, active clients is important when you have active clients, but if you don't have active clients today, then you need to be doing more of two and three, generating leads and following up with them so you can have active clients. Now, if I have active clients today, I need to focus on what I have to do to take care of them. Simple as that. And if I have active clients today because I got to go show homes or go on a listing appointment, then I'm not going to have as much time for lead gen and lead follow up. It doesn't mean I don't try to get some of that in there today or I make up for it on a day when I don't have three clients or two clients I have to work with. And then finally, number five, it's number five because it's, because it's something that I, I need to get in everybody's mind that's not how you start your day. And it's the admin tasks, escrow, pending, everything that's not one, two, three, or four. And a lot of people start with that and fill their day up and then therefore they never get to lead gen and lead follow up. Therefore they have no clients. So that's important. That's why it's important if you're busy to maybe have a, a TC or a virtual assistant to help you with some of those things so you can do more lead generation and follow up to get more business. Okay. That's it. Do the daily is how after you do the work and your business plan, how you get out there and do it. Now in the business planning and in all our training, we dive into well, what do you do, you know, besides your sphere, what else can you do? And that's what you're going to have to discover. But we certainly talk about it in our training course, our real estate sales builder, we go through all the different ways that you right. can generate business and then how do you implement these systems. So we have a lot of help for you there. There's a lot of free stuff on our site. And honestly, our, our real estate sales builder program, I mean, what's the price on that right now? 397. All right, so for, and you own it forever, and we'll be actually updating some content in there to update the buyer and seller consultations to to make sure everybody's really doing a good job with the way the commissions have changed and so forth. All right, and then the last part of the line, ACP is prosper, right? So we've gotten our mindset squared away. We're working, we're connecting, we're taking action. We've set our intentions, and we've got focused action every day. We know what our game plan is. We we have our systems in place and we're doing the daily. So now we have prosperity, right? And that prosperity means fulfillment in all areas of your life. And it's really important. You want to continue to make con and here's what I want to say to kind of finalize this today, making conscious decisions every day. Cause that's really what impacts everything. When you become conscious of the decisions that you're making in any moment, that's what's impacting how everything starts to play out in your life. Yeah. Absolutely. Right. And sometimes you're subconsciously, you're making decisions that you're like, wow, what, why did that happen? Well, because that's the path I just took. And I went down this path and I went down this rabbit hole and I took something personally. Somebody said to me, and then I got angry and I spun out of control for a while. And that led to, you know, attracting people that re really weren't ready to, I mean, honestly, can, to, you know, this is where it can go. I, I spiral down to meeting people who aren't in alignment with what, well, they are in alignment because my alignment at that time yeah. was everything doesn't work out for me. Okay. So you just have to correct that course correct. And it takes a little work to do that. You have to recognize it and correct it. But then you can prosper in all the areas of your life. And by that, we mean your personal well-being. This is your physical, mental, and emotional self, right? Your relationships. It allows you to nurture. You've got to continue to nurture the connections with everyone, family, friends, coworkers, peers, business partners. And then, of course, your business and career. What are you doing to continue to refine and, and be aware of that? And the success will come because you're working your game plan. Mm -hmm. Financial goals, I always like to separate those because those are not, you have to have some financial goals, as I really well know, <laughs> because you can't just ah. spend all the money that comes to you. All right. You have to have oh. those goals in place for the future, for retirement, for paying your taxes, for managing your budgets and setting yourself up for success and an eventual ability to retire with peace and joy and gratitude and then spiritual fulfillment whatever that means to you but this is for me it's staying connected to your higher purpose bringing it full circle to alignment and then not everything flows so that is align connect prosper everyone there's a lot of work to do in there and that's what we're going to be covering with you uh, throughout we already have a lot of this in our training courses but we're going to really dive into this acp course to give you the fundamentals and then our other courses will help you how to build a team, how to do the real estate business and so on. Yeah, that first section about alignment is so is so key, I think, especially right now. I mean, you just you, everyone feels as though that there's just a lot. There's just a lot going on. 
right? It's chaotic right now. It is super chaotic right now. And it's just so funny that it's how, how it's being discussed more and more and more and more and more and more, which actually I think sometimes <laughs> propagates the whole, the whole idea of it being a mess and chaotic too. So, but you do, you, you, you have to get in, you, you, you have to be able to get into your own head and you have to realize what, what's going on in your life. I mean, it is so true how you can manifest things. And, and it's so true that when you get into a funk, you are responsible for getting yourself out of that. And you can do it. You just have to identify that you're in it. And when you know you're in it, you can, you, you, when you work on yourself, you can get to a place where you can get yourself out of it pretty quickly, but it takes time and it does take work. Mm -hmm. Crazy. It's crazy. And sometimes you just, and I've had a lot of the, uh, things happening in my life in the last you know month or so. And it, it's, it, sometimes you have to just allow yourself to be in a space where you're, where you're not feeling it. Yeah. And that's really okay. It really it is, is okay. And how, and what I decided to start looking at when I feel like that is just, that's the opportunity to look at some of that inner work. Why is this coming up for me? Why am I having this happen to me right now? Why is this situation happening? What am I supposed to be learning from it is all part of what we're really going to expand on in each of those areas of alignment. There's a lot of, a lot of little digging down into it and we have a lot of references we're going to have a lot of uh you, know, you can find your own way however we we've i know of some ways i know of things that have others have worked that people have shared with me so when we're done with this acp course we will have a plethora of resources and strategies and tools that could help you because once you start with something and you start researching and going down the path and you just set the intention that you want to work on that and release whatever's holding you back it's amazing how the right thing will line up or you'll come across a book or somebody will recommend something and that's what happens to me all the time and that leads me to go look at something else and that's just how it works for me and that's i think how it works for everybody yeah, it's so true so trust true. the process right but you got to be willing to do the work and that's what this is all about you really can't just sit down and do a business plan and hope everything works out what we've just lined out is, is in my opinion, the path to get there. There could be a lot of ways to get, to get that done. Obviously, um, the way we might be sharing is not the only way, but you certainly have to go through this process to, to be able to really, you know, reach your full potential, I guess is what I'm trying yeah. to say to really, really get that and not just wish for it to really experience it. It requires a lot of the steps that were talked about today. So we look forward to sharing more with that with you as we move forward and, and hope that it keeps you inspired to keep listening and coming back and seeing and sharing, maybe sharing ideas that we would love to get more collaboration on what has worked for other people. So Absolutely. don't hesitate to reach out to us, comment on the videos. We, we break these podcasts down into smaller videos and they're up on uh, YouTube shorts, right? Um, mm -hmm. You know, get, getting them back onto Instagram and TikTok as well. Awesome. Once again, you can get all of the show notes over that uh, over at uh, wbnlpodcast.com. This was episode uh, 313, so go over and grab those. And our real estate fundamentals course is over. Come on, we're, hello. Where's my little Where's my little pop up? There it is. Real estate fundamentals is over at wbnlcoaching.com. Go to our freebies page. You can download that course for absolutely free, and that will certainly get you set onto the right track for getting your physical business plan going um and we will uh, be back to talk about all the alignment uh and more of the connections so you're going to have prosperity in your business and in your life anything else jan o'brien that is it all right good everyone. stuff all right everyone get out there and be forever wandering Go, get out there and have some wandering vibes people and be forever wandering but not lost heck yeah eh yeah <laughs>